All right, people. Welcome back. More Dando commentary. So yes, we have Slate. Finally got unbanned. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> we don't need to know about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So it's whatever. We have Tyler. I guess that'd be Winston. I guess. Yeah. With eight hundred and twenty-nine, which is max two two six zero. This. 1089 and we have looks like Satellis versus I'm guessing Shadals. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. the only deck that really runs Star Seraphs anymore. If anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, I don't, I don't really see many uh Star Seraph Shadal decks. <laughs> oh damn. <It's>... Uh <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so Satellis. Wait, um, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. If you normal summon or spell summon, you can spell summon this card from your hand. I don't understand why why he reveal it. I'm confused. He revealed it to to show that he had a sovereignty in his hand before he drew, right? I guess. So how is he? <laughs> if you He's normal summon or special reveal... summon the Star Seraph monster monsters, except during the dump step, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, draw one card. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Never mind then. No, that that that. Never mind. Um, that's, that, that activates, yeah, so that was fine. I think it activates, uh, that's the thing. if it activates, then, then it makes sense that he revealed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it does, um, but who, hey, who knows, you know, whatever. That was a good Minecraft play, it was, it was, it was still entertaining, or whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, Hat Tricker, Hat Tricker is my favorite freaking performance, like, I love it so much. It's so easy to get out. It's just so good. I love I love Hat Tricker. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's just a really good card, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like it's splashable. Like you could you could run it in really really any rank four deck, you know. It's not you know I mean to get it to be searchable, you kind of have to dedicate the performance engine. Honestly, you could go without Clown if you're not running a deck that you know relies on the graveyard. Um, not not you know if you you can rely off you can not run the one that specimens itself in the graveyard. You can still just run the one that searches it and hat trigger to be honest. I just I don't know, I just really like hat trigger. <laughs> it's bad to draw though. I put it back. I finished chain though. Yeah. I hate it when people on DN like take the banishment into their own hands when it's in the graveyard. Like obviously if they'll do it themselves, you know, it's their card. Yeah. They don't I don't even like understand doing. why it gives you the option to like just tell your opponent you know, I'm targeting these, you know, whatever cards, you know, however many cards it is, and then they'll banish them. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's just because, like, cards read, you know, you banish blank from their graveyard, but... You should, I, uh, yeah, I agree. You shouldn't have control over their yeah. graveyard. Shit, no, nah, I don't like it. Yeah, tell me that guy's a conundrum to take you out of that Altair if he's just kind of taking it slow. Hopefully get some revival to come back into this duel. Max over here, I mean, I don't even know. Like I said, I'm assuming should alls. Yeah. Know, with the start, the start surf engine and the four mage engine. I mean. Yeah, it has, it, I think it has to be. One or the other. Should, I mean, it, it could just be some sort of rank four deck, which would be cool. Like, uh, you know, that could be a thing. Because that was instant fusion, right? So I mean, I haven't really seen instant fusion used. This is, this is, I mean, I guess we don't know, this might be OCG, but then again, why wouldn't he go into Noted if it was OCG, so. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yep, definitely should also. So, okay, so, I don't know if this is, like, <laughs> if you, like, like to discuss stuff like this on this, sh on this uh, show, but, um, didn't, did, so did, did ARG come out with a new ban list? Not that I know of, I mean, usually you would, I, I mean, I'm subscribed to Vexicus just for the news, and it's right, like, he'd so... be the first one on the ball when it comes to that thing. So, so Instant Fusion was already limited on the ARG ban list? Yeah. I did not know that. I just, I just passed over it, I guess, because I, I, was, I was on, you know, Facebook and on, in a Yu-Gi-Oh group, and they are talking about how, uh, you know, no one's coming out in a couple months, or I guess a month now, right? So, yep. you know, ARG ban list, it's, it's limited. I, I, that surprised me. I guess I just forgot. Yeah, it was on their first list. That's they crazy. Just went yeah. ahead and said, "Oh, well, Nodens coming out in a couple months, so let's go ahead and deal with it now." Yeah, but you which know, contradicts even... the fact that they said, "Like we can make a list whenever we want, so why don't you just wait until Noden comes out, then make a new list?" But whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But um, actually, 
in the in the circuit series group, Jim just recently made a poll um, stating that he wishes to regulate the um, times the lists are made, and he, he made it clear that you know the option of um, you know there will be no changes this list is is you know something that might happen. But yeah, he gave, he gave, he gave a poll right, and the options were you know whenever we want. 90 days, 60 days, 30 days, and 30 days was winning by, by a, a lot. So I think it's gonna switch to 30 day ban list. For 30 ARG. day ban list? That's crazy. Well, I, but, do they but, even do like, like an like ARG set. event every month? Uh, I don't know. Um, they, a new one got announced though. There's one in Indianapolis, I think. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, but you know, like I said, he 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 specifically stated that it's it's you know, you know, more than likely that he'll just say you know no changes you know so it's not like it's going to be a, a whole big ban list every time like like ban list back in the day when it was only twice a year mm -hmm. you know change like, like 20 cards <laughs> uh anyway before before we continue uh i want to apologize all these videos are late and off timed and i apologize like i said i'm still sick um power through and do all of this so i wanted to get you guys your daily duels but uh dev pro has been down like all day I thought, it, yeah, I thought it was just me, but no, apparently yeah. it's just down. So I'm just like shit. So I can't, I can't record Mondays yeah. deal with Teller Knights, nor can I record the tag duel for Tuesday with Train. So <sighs> there's a, a secret YTDL group chat, and Daniel reached out to all of us asking if Dev Pro was down for everybody or just him. And Omega Chaos responded that it's down for pretty much everybody. So well, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll go ahead and record with. Record the end commentary. It was like with whom, and it was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm free. Like, okay. You're yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I mentioned that before you even mentioned the end commentary. You're just like, you know, do you want to celebrate by doing this? And this is fun, man. This is why. I guess now that I'm on band on the end, I can start making videos. <laughs> I, I, well, no, because my listen, this is terrible, right? My plan was to okay. So the the two year anniversary of my channel was yesterday, and I was banned. So I couldn't make a video. That was my plan, was to make a video for the two-year anniversary and then start making videos about weekly again. So I guess I'll just make one this week. Um, but I, I'm serious. Like, I'm definitely going to make one at some point this week. Uh, I don't know how consistent I'm going to be, though, because school just started. And Oh, sh this shit all fusion. Uh, with the and I side. guess that's fine, because whoever he summons, he can go ahead and detrench detach and rank up into Pleadies, and Pleadies can handle the sh drama. Bro, so. okay, so ah, I like, didn't be giving up my trouble. secrets, right? But, wait, what did you say? Uh, no, I was just commentating on the duel. You about yeah, yeah, you said about, about Pleadies. Yeah, I heard that. I yeah. think you said something after that. Oh, dang. Oh, damn, okay. That's... Mm, okay, so I should have hit him. Okay. So what's going to happen with this? Like, why do you chain El Shadal? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't I don't okay. see it. Okay, so, so now, now, now should all or now, uh, Tomeus will resolve. Yeah. <laughs> Shadal Fusion will resolve. And then a whole new chain is going to start with Constructs and the Materials, right? Yep. And then he'll probably chain... Oh, we went into Diamond. Oh, we went into Diamond. Oh. Interesting. Okay. That, that, that explains why... I didn't even think about that. that that's obviously why he did Bell Shadal Fusion next. That makes complete sense. Yeah. Of course. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I thought he was going to go. Um, yeah, yeah. How the chain... Yeah. It's a really big chain right here. Um, so obviously, Stellar Knight can Stellar Diamond has a, a quick effect that can negate Dark Monsters effects. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first at all fusion will fizzle. What? Why would it fizzle? No, he uh, he already sent the materials by accident. I guess technically, I don't see why it would fizzle. If your if your opponent controls that monster, monster, especially something from the extra deck, I mean. Yeah, the the construct and the Falco and whatever else he sends with the Shadal Fusion. Would it fizzle? Why would it fizzle again? Yeah, I mean the monst whether it be Patola Minus or Diamond, it's still special from the extra deck, so I'm assuming Shadal Fusion could uh, send from the deck, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, if your opponent controls a monster that's special from the extra deck. Yep. And he he does. And that doesn't apply until the effect resolves, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a different monster than an activation. He's thinking if he wants to respond or not. Yeah, of course, with the diamond. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to wait for him, Max. <laughs> it's a really important, <laughs> really important effect. Damn, fucking Max is just like. Mm. Yeah, I negate. Hmm. I think I would negate Dragon depending on what he has in his hand. Yeah, depends. 
because he's if that's what he's shiny that was in there. Or wait, which effect did he use already? Which, wait, which effect of War Boards did he use? Oh, it got negated, the Vanish effect. Okay. Yeah. Each effect can only be used once, so... Wait a minute. Torrential on the Falco summon, that works. That That's completely fine. Because, um, it would be... It's special summon then set, so you can activate Torrential on it. Special summoned in face down defense. Yep. Yeah, so, so it's still considered summon. Despite yeah, the only thing I'm thinking of is, can he use it? Yeah, because it's all within the chain. Okay, yeah, because you know he can he can. What well, basically what he did is chain that to his own diamond, but it's okay because something was summoned in that chain. I think, right? That's how that would work. I don't think it has to be immediately after. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> this is this is so confusing. That was yeah. It was really complicated. Look, the the game state the game state is extremely simplified. We got one card here and two cards there. What did he draw off a of beast? Uh no, the he got a Shadow Fusion back because of a construct. Oh uh, con oh wow, G geez, okay. I mean, so pass right. Yep, he just got the yeah, Shadow Fusion back. Straight over Tyler. Now Tyler has two cards. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I guess Tyler knows not to make an extra deck. Yeah, Anything even, except for an extra deck monster, like yeah. that would be the most. The yeah, don't even touch that extra deck. Yeah, so. Yep, I don't even care if you want to go ahead and start poking with some Altair. I don't care, but do not yeah. touch that extra deck. It's not even worth it. There's no toolbox. That's a. Uh, nothing. By the way, it is, it is guaranteed. Right by the way, now that he's playing Shadows, <laughs> obviously. Oh, yeah. So I was doubting that before, but yeah, he's playing Shadows. Oh, the serious. That's a. That's a weird one. Yeah, I definitely don't see serious that often. Too. Yeah, I don't know if you remember at Worlds, but um, so the Stellar Knight players were having some trouble. They were bricking in the in the later rounds, especially on day two, and um, and one of the Asian players, uh, you know, forgive me for not remembering his name, but you know, he opened serious and it was just terrible. Everybody was, you know, because obviously he's only running one, and he just he opened it. It was terrible. He was just running, you know, he was uh, he was opening too many monsters was the problem. And then uh, another um, Stellar Knight player, uh, Chase Cunningham, on stream just. And then, uh, the, uh, who's the other guy? I don't know, but Chase Cunningham for sure just drew tons of traps. He could only get traps. He couldn't get any monsters. And the other guy had the opposite problem. He was running more monsters. He was running Sirius and, and Rigel and stuff, and he drew he drew Sirius at the beginning of the duel. Although the Rigel came in handy because Rigel's an out the window. So, yeah. Oh, man. It looks like Max doesn't really have anything right now. So I guess he's just going to, like, screw it. That's interesting. Of course, I mean, Tell Knights are probably going to go down in popularity with their upcoming inevitable hit after winning Worlds. But Shadows are going back up in popularity, and it's interesting that this format is looking like a very aggressive format. That the, the, the control decks are starting to, you know, fall while the aggressive decks are starting to go up. You know, like Necros and uh, Shadows, Infernoids, Cosmos, very aggressive, but decks like Burning Abyss and Cleese and stuff are just, you know, and Ritual Beasts are starting to fall in popularity. It's interesting to see. Yeah, did you see the um the YCS Top 32s? Oh, I was busy at my regionals, but, <laughs> yeah. Well, how'd you do with that? Sorry, I've been... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it on Daily Duels, so you'll see it, but uh, just gonna... know that I faced a lot of aggressive decks, but I did not... I didn't really even face much control decks. Uh, I didn't face a single Burning Abyss, nor did I face the Mirror Match e either. So no no Burning Abyss, no Cleese. Yeah, I'll watch the video. I'm, I'm really interested in, in um, tournament reports and stuff like that. Like, that's one of my favorite kind of videos to watch. But, um... Ooh, that damage juggler, though. The card's so good. I disagree. So good. Nah, I think it's a brick card. How is it a brick card? You get to block the damage like the, and you like... get the banish to go ahead and get your trick clown? Like, that's so, It's good. a bad top deck. Um... Anyway, um... Okay, so yeah, I have a regional this weekend um, that I may or may not be going to. I think I'm, le I'm leaning towards going. But, uh... What was I gonna say? Oh man. I was gonna say, oh yeah, I was just gonna say that you know I like Turner. I like Turner reports. I was gonna say something else. Damn it. What was I gonna say? Oh well. Let's say that, that if that helps. Like I said, people are going aggressive. Just Necros, Shadows, Cosmos, Infernoids, lots of aggressive stuff. So yeah. On what you take prepare for those decks. Oh yeah, we were talking about the the the, uh, the YCS um, rundown. Um, I forget which is which, right? I think yeah, it was Toronto. There's so many. There's one in Italy, then there's Toronto, then there's a regional was, in was, Kansas, was, and a regional in Utah. Yeah, there were a lot of regionals. Um, there were, but there were the two YCSs, right? So, mm -hmm. in Toronto, only one Klee made top 32. Yep. And in Rimini, no Klee made top 32. Yep. So, like I said, Klee's, Klee's are definitely going down in popularity. I think that's what it was. 
Yeah, I'll take on, I'll take on Vex because it's Page because it was something like that. It was really surprising to me. And I mean, when you think about it, when those decks and those decks are popular, uh, Necros, uh, Shadals with their uh, Clown Blade engine, uh, Infernoids, and and Cosmos, all four of those decks can take out Tower Turbo. So, like I said, I'm assuming that there was a lot of people that went Tower Turbo and they just got crushed because all four of those decks can take it. Whether yeah. it be going into Diamond Crab King or you know a new true killing towers or that was my uh, first thought was um you know Tower Turbo being um pretty weak and actually my my second thought was um you know you play Tower Turbo <laughs> so <laughs> so I was, I was wondering how bad or how how you know how badly you were uh, upset by the, the lack of performance by your deck uh there was a there was a couple of people there was not a lot of cleans at the regionals. Uh, I mean, what do you mean? Like in the YCS showing up, or do you mean like at the regional? I meant like, if like, you, I'm not even sure. I guess you said you didn't see the results, but uh, I, I was. I, I saw. Meant, like, I saw the results. I saw the results, but I yes. mean, like I said, actually, while while I was there and I was like watching what decks were, you know, I, not only at my regionals but also at the YCS, I was like, you know what? I was straight up at at the regionals. I was like, this is my last time playing Tower Turbo. I'm taking right, the deck apart. Yeah. So I, I've actually, I've, we've anymore. we've discussed like YCS deck breakdowns on this on you know, I keep I'm. Like with me on D and D commentary, I'm saying like I've I've listed deck breakdown like deck breakdowns of top 32s before, and we've discussed it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just name off this one real fast. Um, this is this is Toronto. 14 Necros, one BA, uh, or no, one BA. 14 Necros, eight BA, uh, three Shadal, two Teller Knights, one Klee, one Ritual Beast, one Infernoid, one Cosmo, one Yang Zing. So it's extremely diverse. First of all, that's the first that's the first thing I'm taking from that. Um, all right, he made Norbo. Right? He made Norbo. That's it. on Norbo. Open up with like the same play, just the sovereignty to the sovereignty, and then you think that play wouldn't be good, but then you just go ahead and drop that hat tricker. Man, it's crazy how relevant Ouroboros is. Like that's an insane, you know, jump in relevancy after the uh, the, ser the seraphs came out. You know, it's they they've been out for a while now, but I'm just saying that, you know, Ouroboros was nothing before that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like who was running Ouroboros pre Star Seraphs? Name name one one deck that ran Ouroboros. No one. It's not even Evil Swarm. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> nobody was running Ouroboros. So, you know, that's just pretty impressive. I mean, it's, it's for Evil Swarm, you know, to get three monsters on the board, you know, they have to go minus two to get Ouroboros out. So, it's not worth the effort when you could just go Ophion, which is. Yeah, yeah. Ophion. yeah, Ophion's good. I mean, Ophion's good against everything except for Necros, I guess. Um, yeah, because Unicorn. Yeah. Well, at least they got to do a little. Yeah, they summon Unicorn and then they can, you know, Ophion's effects negated. And they can handle the rest. But yeah, I, I took apart my my tower turbo. It's just not worth going aggressive. As I said with everybody going aggressive, with I'm just gonna go defensive and pretty much turn to like more of an anti man deck. I'm gonna slow them down with the lose one turns and stuff like put that. Put more traps. Yeah, put more yeah, traps in. Put more traps uh -huh. in. <coughs> like I said, there's no reason to just throw away my cleans. With them being unhit and how cheap I got the deck, I mean, I'll just have to you know uh, work with it. I'm not gonna join the cult of aggressiveness and like I said I'm more of a control player so I need to handle it. The only reason I went with Tower Turbos is because my luck is terrible so I wanted to just stack a couple people and get easy wins. Be really consistent I guess. That's pretty, that's a pretty good, I mean getting out of towers is pretty good right? Like that's pretty easy to do it's just if they get rid of towers right? Is that, is, am I right or am I wrong? I, I mean if they get rid of towers I run a second one so you know if you just get rid of towers I'm gonna drop a second one and generally decks only have one out. You yeah. have to not only get out of towers but you have to break my scales too. One of the problems, yeah I was gonna say one of the problems is if they have monolith you know that's their, that's their backup plan is the, the cards they draw off of monolith. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a lot like it's a lot less scary to see um, just the towers than it is to see a towers plus you know the monolith draw of three. You know what I mean? Like I don't even get like because every deck plays that towers out now. You know, so I, I've been playing harpies, right? I've been playing harpies on the end. If I see a towers first turn, I'm not scared. I can just go diamond crab king and crash. But I get extremely scared if they go towers monolith and draw three. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially so. when you didn't if you didn't kill that scout, they they will come back. Yeah, that's the one benefit of Harpies is it has an extremely good clean matchup. So, mm -hmm. unless uh, you that guy at Worlds, uh, the guy at Worlds was so disappointing. It's, it's crazy. Because, listen, because I okay, so that's at, at the time Worlds was happening. I was already on the Harpy train, right? Like I was already playing Harpies. Um, I hadn't played Harpies since before Harvest came out. Um, you know, I think Harpies Harpies topped a YCS um, in the format of. It was before Gear Gear, so like after Fire Fist and before Gear Gear. So it was before people realized Gear Gear. It was before, it was like, it was like Giga Car Curry time, that's when it was. So around Giga Car Curry time, right, um, this guy topped the YCS with, uh, with 
harpies and I net decked him and it had a lot of traps in it and that was a big deal but I eventually stopped playing that because artifacts came out so I picked up harpies again recently because they got good again with harpists or whatever and I've been talking to this um, this really good harpy player named Tiffany on Facebook and we were discussing like ways to play the deck right and during Worlds she got really excited because a harpy player came on and just disappointed the shit out of both of us that he did so bad you know like he didn't even play well like he didn't get outplayed he just played bad he ran he had bad card choices he had he made bad plays you know what I mean so I don't know. I was really disappointed, especially because that was some really interesting tier, you know, lower tier um, representation. All right, the Phoenix Chain on the Ouroboros again. Mm -hmm. uh, and see, he's, he's hitting the Deneb to, before the response again. Uh, it's like a pet peeve. Yeah. It's annoying. Does Ouroboros have to be on the field to resolve its effect? No. Okay. I don't, I mean, I don't see why it would. So, yeah, that'll, that'll resolve. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, he, he banished it. <sighs> Wow. It's a ruling that I've always thought was so weird. Um, I mean, it makes sense. It's just that, you know, there aren't that many cards that get cards off the field at spell speed 2 or higher, you know what I mean? Like, like Icarus Attack is one of those cards, right? So if you go Icarus Attack, or if you go, um, you know, for instance, Gale, right? You go Gale to half their monster, and they go Fiendish, you can go Icarus Attack, tribute it off, pop two cards, and their monster will still be halved. Like, that's such a, that's such a weird concept to me. It, it makes sense, now that I think of it, but like... What I'm saying is, if, if I would have never, if somebody else would never have done that to me first, I would have never thought to even do that to avoid Fiendish Chain. It just wouldn't have occurred to me, so. Yeah, it's always a good play when you can dodge the Fiendish Chain because it only affects the field stuff. No. Didn't you use your one special summon? No. Did you summon the Falco this turn? No, the Falco was summoned last turn. Okay. Is then yeah, then it's a year. different it's a different window. So since he sent you're that right. window you're and some of the new window, right. this new window will apply to one summon per yeah. turn. So. I I didn't I that was it obviously I, I missed that. Setting the beast is always cool. Yeah, it's it's, it's a tough effect to avoid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If he has a shit all in his hand, he's already going plus two. So yep. it's it's a, it's just a really weird like. Um sort of thing to have to deal with, you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 tough to get rid of a face-down card without flipping it. Yep. Or, or destroying it, because if you pop it, they still get that one draw. No, you didn't have to. I said, it's just interesting to see how Shadows always, you know, run these various light engines, so it's interesting to see them go to now the, the clown engine. You know, Contract is such an important monster in the deck that they really want to play some lights. So I've never seen anybody, you know, use both, both the clown and the star sass. I mean, he's probably just running literally nothing besides <laughs> all these monsters plus the fusions. Like, has he played any other card yet? <laughs> no, I haven't seen any. Yeah, other cards. seen any spell or traps besides the fusions? Like, nope. I mean, I don't know. He probably runs a, a core in there, maybe, but you know, I think it's fine. I think. uh should all have evolved into this, you know, really speedy, fast, monster effect heavy deck. Yeah. Um, so out of all the decks that are meta right now, I'd say the most transformative is definitely Shadals. Shadals are just, they're, the reason they're so transformative is because they're so versatile in that they all have the, the two separate effects, um, you know, and uh, and with the multiple fusion spells, you know, to like, I remember back in the day when Shadal fusion was the only fusion spell they had. <laughs> back in the day, well, it's so crazy to say, back in the day, Shadals. But it has been a while. But, yeah, it's um, been but over anyway, a year. Yeah, it's, that's that's really crazy. It has been over a year. Wow. So, um, but yeah. So back in the day, <laughs> when Shadal's just had the fusion, um, all you had to do was have an out to you know. At that time, it was pretty much just Winda because they couldn't combo off with a construct. You know what I mean? Because uh, they only had the one fusion to work with. So, uh, so yeah. Now they have all these different monsters. Mm -hmm. You know what I? You know what I? What I always thought would catch on that never did. Shadal Hound. Nobody ever played that card. I mean, I think Hoven played it in one list that I that I saw. He played it at a YCS, but uh, that was like right after the special edition came out, and I've never seen anybody play it since. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he cited it out a lot. I mean, it makes sense that nobody plays it, you know. But it's just you know, it's it's another monster, I guess. Um, how many dragon are on lists that you've seen? Uh, most of the time, I just see one dragon. One. Okay, that's what I thought too. Um, I have this, this friend that I met um, that plays that he, he he's a he's a Klee player right like you but he runs um, he he wants to run Shadals in the future okay 
and he gave me this list that his friend made. Uh, I forget his friend's name, but his friend his friend topped a regional, okay, with this shit all list. And it was uh, it was clown dolls, and it was running the one dragon. And like that was my first question. I'm like, really, only one dragon with all these spells and traps in the format? Um, I don't know. I guess. But like I said, uh, we just talked about it, and it's very aggressive. So, I mean, yeah. at this point, it kind of makes sense with only one dragon because you're not yeah, really getting yeah, much back though. I mean, so really there were the two hedgehog. Um, what else was there? Don't play uh, any much back row shadows. I mean, most of their back row is chainable, so that's not good. Infernalies don't run much back row, if any, and then most of the time none. And Cosmos, I mean, they don't run much back row. And what you can pop with dragon, what their field spell? Just gonna yeah, be pretty fast, bad. So. Never pop the Cosmo field spell. Like there's, there's, I mean, there's, there's no point. First of all, because it can search itself. Um, and and second of all, because you know you can. There, it's just like, if they don't search itself, they're gonna get another monster. Just, I don't know. I don't, I don't see. I don't see the worth in popping a co in, the, in popping the, the Cosmo Town. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's really weird though, cause oh there, okay, there's a shell core. Uh, it's really weird though. There's never been really a, a spell and trap that you absolutely never want to pop. You know what I mean? Like at at no point you want. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's yeah. I would say that's two special summons. Yeah. You summon the core. That's it. <laughs> yep. Alright, continue, continue. I forgot um, what I was just saying that there's, I, don't, I can't think of any other spell trap ever that you just absolutely do not want to pop at any time. Can you think of one that you've just never wanted to pop? Like a field spell or just a spell? Any, any, any spell or trap that you don't want to pop. Not, not, I'm Same not saying thing. face down, I'm not saying face down, I'm saying face up. Like not, obviously artifact ignition, you don't want to pop that, but it's, uh, you don't know that it's there. I'm saying any, any spell that is face, any spell or trap that is face on the field that you just never want to pop. Gear town. Gear Town, I mean, uh, what is Gear Town? I know it's I know it's special summon something, but what's Gear Town's first effect? Um, I don't even remember. I don't remember Gear Town's first effect because everybody wants to pop pop it to get its second effect. I think it's like yeah. Gear Monsters have like a less tribute or something, one less tribute. Yeah, well, I don't know. I guess Gear Town doesn't really have a like. Cosmo Town, not only do you not want to pop it because it has a good effect when it gets popped, but it also has a useful effect when it's face up. So like that might prompt somebody to pop it, but then they realize that if they pop it, they'll just get another one. Yep. So I don't know. I, I think that's a little bit of a difference there. By the way, I, I can't find the the Rimini YCS cut. I'm still looking for that. I want to talk about that. <clears throat> I know at Utah, the, the aggressive decks started combining with each other, so that was pretty interesting. Like there was a there was a handful of uh, just of ne Necro Shadal players. You know, really? Yeah. They are they top? Are they top eight? Uh, I don't think it, so. I mean, <laughs> I, I know the one who won it all and got and got first at our regionals was a a Shadal Cosmo. That's really interesting. Yeah. So instead of using you know like the Trick Clown engine or the Sharshas engine, their lights are just going to be Cosmos. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it kind of makes sense. All right. I found the I found the top cut for top thirty two. Um, yeah, like I said before, there there are no Klee. That's that's crazy to me. No Klee in the top cut of Remini. Like I said, um, I, I just believe that everybody was like, oh, Tower Turbo, and then <laughs> they realized that the, <laughs> there's a lot more aggressiveness and they can get over Tower Turbo. And wow. They just Dude, it's out. so similar. That's that's crazy. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me, let me grab the other page then again to, to compare them, because that's really similar. Um... Looks like the Shadal guy's gonna win this duel, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and go on to game three. Oh dang. Oh of course. Obviously. Um <laughs> I guess the people that are listening probably noticed this before me. But yeah, the the last list that I had was actually the combined deck breakdown, not not just the, the Toronto one. And that makes sense, because there were twenty nine Necros in a thirty two person tournament. That wouldn't make any sense. Um whatever. <laughs> that makes sense why they look similar. So yeah, I guess Rimini was just much more diverse because Rimini had like the Ignite and the the Infernoid and all the ones that I said that they were one of. So sorry for the misinformation, guys. I don't know. My 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 regionals is just weird. Like we had well, like we had a Yangzing player that was doing well. I believe, I believe a Yangzing deck top, didn't it? At some YCS or something or another, at, or another at regional. The, the Rimini one, yeah. Yeah, and and we and my friend who who ran a row mages. He was he was like by like round six he was like he was still X and O by like round six with Aromages. That's I mean I okay so I played Aromages. Um, the person I was playing against wasn't very good, but the deck seems to be kind of slow. Yeah, it was <laughs> I mean, slow. the win condition is 
The win condition is is the is the cactus bouncer guy, which is is pretty sad. Um, do you know what cactus bouncer says? Yeah. If you control another plant, it's like a vanity. If you control another. Plant. Yeah, if you control another plant, it's a vanity. So like, it's oh, yeah. it's also like an eighteen hundred or nineteen hundred body. So it's a good card. Uh, mm -hmm. it's you know it's a, it's a good card, but if you don't draw it, Aramaze is just kind of meh. Um, there's one that gives you an extra normal summon. Do you know? Do you remember if it gives an extra normal summon of a plant or an Aramage? I think it's I think it's just an Aramage. So that would really help. Jasmine. Yeah, I think it's another Aramage. Yeah. So like that wouldn't really. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it just, cool. if you have to take two turns to step win condition, I don't think that's that's good enough. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess well. I guess it's kind of cool because people are taking out Rageki out of or not Rageki, but um, like Book of Moon and stuff out of their decks for. Uh, I don't want to talk about that card. What Book of Moon? No. Book of Jin? No, we're not talking about Book of Moon. <laughs> Why? You you'll you'll understand when I get the turn to the report. I won't talk about that card. <laughs> I hate that card. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and like I said, when you when you watch the tournament report, you'll be you'll be yeah, like, oh, right. that's why he hates Book of Moon. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying is that. But people... I can spoil it for you. I lost my my invite because of Book of Moon. Oh dang! You didn't get your invite. Mm -hmm. I just kind of assumed you did because I was you know. so close, and I and I lost it because my opponent top deck. Did you go X three? Yeah. Dang. I lost uh, in the yeah. last round. <laughs> Because of Book of Moon. Come to the come to the Philly regional. You can you can go X three there and get your meet your invite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's like six hundred fucking people. But um, well, I was gonna say uh, after so yeah, I guess I'll wait for the the video to hear the whole story. But after Jin got banned, people started taking the Jinots out of their deck, and obviously all the Jinots are out to the Cactus Bouncer. So it'd be really cool if you know those started making a comeback for Error Mages. That would be insane. Um, but I think Error Mages are are you know. Low tier two. Man, I hate yeah. my friend. My friend the butt because he main decks fucking a moon mirror shield. I'm like, you're an asshole. That's well, yeah. That's that's a he's the exclusive card, pretty sure. And yeah, um, it is. and it's an out to towers. Yeah. Oh, another thing. Um, I might as well. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This duel still isn't over. <laughs> this has been a really fun duel, and we've we've kind of been like swaying away from even talking about the actual duel, which is kind of upsetting. I guess we normally do that, but. <laughs> Like I said, this yeah. duel should have been over. I was prepared to go ahead and move on to game three. Like, y'all need to hurry this shit up. This, this yeah. video is already half an hour long. You were still not in game two. Like, I'm hoping that's Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is, this is game two. I mean, well, not in game three. This, game two's not even over. And we're yeah, obviously we'll, going yeah, into game three. Yeah, <laughs> now we're in game three. Um, yeah, this is taking forever. I guess we're only doing one duel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No we're talking we're talking about good stuff. We're talking about current events and, and you know recent happenings that matter to people. Um, but yeah, so I was just going to say, today, uh, we were mentioning him before, but uh, today is Vexicus's birthday, so happy birthday, Vexicus. <laughs> um, Alright, so, go ahead and go into the last one. Really? Really? What? Oh, okay, never mind. What, going? Never mind. Were you talking to me? Second, yeah, for a second there, I thought that Tyler was going second. But never mind, he's going first. I'm like, no, Tyler has to Yeah, no, nah, I think. He got to, first of all, he has to get um, his traps down. And second of all, it would be nice to start out with the first turn, um, Tall Mance into Diamond. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, it really bothers me that, that Diamond can't just be summoned over Tall Mance. Like, I mean, it shouldn't matter because he's playing plenty of uh, Teller Knight XEs in his deck. But for decks that don't play tons of Talonite Xyz, you can't go into Diamond turn one, um, because you only have the two materials, and then during the end phase you have to attach Stellar Knight. But I'm only playing two Stellar Knights. I'm only playing Talmaeus and Diamond. So you see what I'm saying? Do you, like, do you follow? Because mm -hmm. you can't overlay Diamond over Talmaeus except in the main phase two. And you can't go into main phase two in your first turn because you can't conduct your battle phase. That that messes me up. I mean, it shouldn't matter for Talonite Knight decks, like I just said, because they have that. That extra um, Teller Knight, or you know, multiple extra Teller Knights. Set set pass for a Shadal deck. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Like, do people care about activating Shadal flip effects these days? Like, I mean, I think so, because the flip yeah. effects are generally stronger than the graveyard effects. But I'm saying, like, is he gonna not attack? I don't think so. I think he's still gonna push. Yeah, exactly. So uh, he's probably not that scared. Is what I'm so okay. So if he, ooh, that bluff, dang, for that two thousand booty. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it, that probably just means his hand is bad, though. <laughs> so maybe that's not that good. <laughs> I mean, Tyler summoning Sirius, like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't like Sirius. I'd rather just Dagusta Emerald. Opening Sirius is terrible, as I said. Um, struggles from the world's guy. Excuse me. Yeah, it looks like this duel is not starting off fantastically. Yeah, two players that opened uh, subpar. But, I mean, one of them, you know, the, the difference is one of them has three traps, you know, and the other one has a handful of monsters, um, which are going to go into make, making more monsters which will get counteracted by traps. So I think uh, I think Tyler's in a better position. Plus, he just simply has um, more board presence right now. A defense position, um, sovereignty, isn't getting you much more than one turn. Mm -hmm. I guess there's that other set. I don't know. I look at sets so much differently now since I've been playing Harpies because you can just go freaking Chidori and, and swipe it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Or spin, spin it. I don't know. They need to figure out a different name for Chidori's effect because it's like it's like the bottom of the deck. <laughs> like spin is usually if you shuffle it into the deck. So yeah, or or top deck. I mean, is that even a real a real Yu-Gi-Oh term? Spin. It's 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 slang like pop is. Okay. It's like pop, spin, um, what's the other one that I'm forgetting? Uh, bounce for return of the hand. Yeah. So that, dang, that just premeditated Max C. Premeditated <laughs> Max C. He's like, I don't want you to go off this turn, so I'm just going to yeah. come at you. And like, okay. Like, you can just go yeah, ahead and take gonna that. Pass. Yeah, he's going to pass. Yeah, you can go ahead and take that neg. <laughs> yeah, no point. No point in doing that. Mm -mm. Like, it's not like he was going to go, I mean, wait for a freaking Call of the Haunted or Oasis to at least get the one for one, you know what I mean? Yep. Especially if he targets, like, an Altair, like, that would be great, getting the Maxi off the Altair, uh, or off the Call of the Haunted if he targets the Altair, I'm saying, because then um, he either has to not get his Altair summon and still have to um, watch his opponent draw one from the Call of the Haunted. God, this duel is slow. Yeah, the, like I said, they opened bad. All right, we're going to see something here. Yeah, XC. Which will not be... In... Wait, okay. Wait, so he's going to overlay, and then he's going to set. <laughs> because that's legal. <laughs> yeah, it's totally legal. What could he summon here? What do you... I have no idea. I don't... I don't like, I don't see... You've... Oh, okay, in the end phase. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> I was say, say, what? Yeah. I don't see materials. I mean, I guess he's waiting for a response. and some I, said, I, guess, I guess, but that confused the hell out of me. That, yeah, that was confusing. I don't see why it's... Because you you, if you go into the end phase, um, what you can do is you can summon the Tom Ace in the main phase, and when you go to the end phase, you can special summon the Delta Rose without actually overlaying it over anything, and then just overlay the Tom Ace over that, um, which is what people normally do. <laughs> Yeah, but he. Just it's not like that's like a, any anything extra hard. You know what I mean? Like it's not like we're it's it's an impossible game mechanic to use on the end is to add something from the extra deck as material. It's it's not that hard. Yep. <clears throat> so. So is anything gonna happen in this duel? No. <laughs> nope. Yeah. See, no no flip effect monsters, man. That's that's trouble. Seriously, where the hell are your and, and The thing is, actually, I'm going to say that Tyler is going to win now, like, like undoubtedly. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, that kind of stinks that he yep. had both the tears and then he got the scepter. Yeah. But um, what's going to happen is, ooh, well, I'm going to see what he goes into first. Probably uh, Ouroboros. No, Dotros, so we can't respond on summon. And Dotros. Oh, yeah, yep. so we can't respond, scepter, right? We'll go ahead and pop and draw. And he can't yeah, even that's, respond. That's really good. So forget what I just said about Tyler being in the best position. Wait, but okay, so if he chains that, he can't train. Why? Because oh, uh, this Delta is all going off during the time that Delta uh, yeah, Delta's a summon window. Yeah, that's my fault. Okay, that makes much more sense that he summoned Delta's then. That's that's my fault. Whoa, wait. Why didn't he use that before? Before what? Doesn't the doesn't the the Star Seraph give Deltros the effect to pop a card? Yes. So why wouldn't he break through skill it then? He can't. All his cards are Your opponent cannot it, activate cards it, or effects while you normal summon or summon monsters. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just nah. 
delete me from the conversation. Like I'm I'm clueless on Deltaros. And I have a copy in my closet, like literally two inches from me. <sighs> okay, so I guess I guess Dragon. I'm just impressed that the uh that the Tyler guy has lost two back row already. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I guess they're they're both five five on cards right now, but so depending on what he mills, I guess he can draw and get that sixth card. Uh, unless Beast has been used this turn, I'm not, I'm not sure. Except Max, you need you need to pull off a window. Like, so wait, what happened to the Nova? Uh, the duel ended, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't know what happened, happened. I guess we'll have to watch the video. I was wondering the same thing. I didn't want to ask because it would be kind of embarrassing to <laughs> have not been paying attention. But to be honest, he attached, then he breakthrough skilled it, and then all of a sudden the Nova went to the graveyard. He couldn't activate it because there was no Torah Knights on the field. I guess I oh, thought he sent Dragon, but then all of a sudden Max had Dragon now. So yeah, he only use one effect of Dragon, dude. so it's not like you can Dragon him and then Construct send it Dragon and you get two pops. Like it doesn't work like that. So I have no idea. That was weird. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's this episode, right? Nope. I'm not. I don't. I don't care. I don't care enough to rewatch. <laughs> so anyway, people, thank you guys for being so cooperative. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before you guys go, um, just comment what happened because I'm <laughs> I'm really that curious. So comment why the the Stellar Nova Alpha went to the graveyard. Thanks. Okay. All right. So anyway, thank you, Slate, for joining me. Yep. Yeah, this was fine. Yep. So I'm gonna try to get you guys all your videos. I apologize that I'm so late and behind on everything, but it sucks to be sick and I'm I'm pushing through. So I still owe you guys at this point. I still owe you guys the daily duels on Monday, and the daily duels on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. And like I said, that pros down at this current moment. I would record them, but I can't. So I'll try to get them to you as soon as possible. So anyway, thanks for watching, and yeah, see you guys next time. There's another episode of the Undo Commentary. Thank <laughs> you.